Welcome to Will It Go Through, episode seven. We're in for a show today. Today is actually Thanksgiving Day. So to show how thankful we are and to celebrate, we're gonna be shooting some balloons today and a couple other things. So let me show you what we got. In this episode, episode seven of Will It Go Through, we got a couple of toilet tank lids here and a saw blade. We're gonna shoot them with a 22. I don't know, what do you guys think? I'm thinking it'll definitely stop it. But uh, we're gonna find out. Also, we got some balloons here. How many balloons do you think it'll take to stop a 22 round? Now I know that a 22 is obviously gonna go through a few of these, but every time a balloon pops, that little bit of friction I think is gonna slow it down. So we're gonna put out at least 40 balloons and give them a shot. All right, so here's a little game for you guys. Pause the video, look around to your buddies, and take your bets as to how many balloons it's gonna take to stop a 22 long rifle coming out of a pistol. Now it's gonna be a little bit slower than if it was coming out of a rifle, but we wanna give it that best chance of stopping it with the balloons. Take your bets, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so we have 50 balloons lined up in this nice straight line. We're gonna find out how many it takes to stop a 22. What do you think, guys? Will it go through? So it turns out that if you have a 22, you can shoot through 28 layers with a 22 long rifle coming out of a pistol. I think it was a pretty good success. We couldn't find the bullet yet, but uh, I'm sure we'll recover it. So as you can see, the line of balloon carnage here. A couple of them got pushed out of the way and happened to squeak by, but it still stopped right in this region. Pretty good result. All right, moving on. Next up, we have these two toilet lids. We got them stacked up end to end. We'll shoot them right here with the 22 and see what happens. So, our 22 long rifle broke the first one and didn't even crack the second one. So I say we step it up in calibers and shoot with a little bit better round. Jeremy, what do we got here? We got the FN 5.7 chambered in 5.7 by 28 millimeter round. Travels about 2,500 feet per second out of this little handgun. All right, let's see if that can do a little bit more damage to the old uh, plate over here. Well, even the 5.7 couldn't break the second one. That's pretty dang impressive. I think we probably ought to turn this to gravel. You know I couldn't leave that there in one piece. I mean, come on, what show is this? All right, so last but not least, we have this saw blade. I'm thinking the 22 might just have it met its match here, but the 5.7, I'm going, I'm saying it's gonna go through. All right, so we were able to hit it right here. But it didn't even dent the dang thing. I say we try the 5.7. Jeremy, you could hit anywhere you want, but he just loves making it through the hole. How about we try somewhere in the meat? Okay, well this time he hit right here. How about we try this again? I think we can safely say that the 5.7 has gone right through this thing and this thing has no chance. Now we know it will go through. These balloons, uh, I think for us to pack them up, uh, probably best off to pop them first. So. That didn't take long. 
All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed watching episode seven. It's dumping out. It's Thanksgiving day. We're ready to go get some turkey in our bellies. So I hope you guys have a great Thanksgiving. Thanks for tagging along. Thanks for watching the show. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future episodes. And we'll see you next time.